There's a lot of confusion regarding the use of sealants on ice and water pumps, as well as the type of sealant to use. Let's go over some of the most common water pumps that are supplied with gaskets that sealant should never be used on. For example, the WPH801, rubber O-ring type seal, never use sealant on O-rings. The WPT800, multi-layer metal gasket impregnated with an inner liner of NBR, again, never use sealant. The WPT803, this multi-layer metal gasket has the outer surface coated with NBR, never ever use sealant. The WPT-017, standard paper gasket, never use sealant. And finally, the WPK-819, single layer metal gasket, completely coated by NBR. And again, you should never ever use sealant. However, as the manufacturer, we do recommend that you coat all rubber O-rings, metal and NBR coated gaskets with new coolant. Now let's have a look at some ice and water pumps that require sealant upon installation. Here are some examples of the WPT-801, Lexus, Scion and Toyota models including the Camry, Highlander and RAV4 with the 2.4 litre engine. The WPT-S008, Scion XBs with the 2.4 litre engine. The WPN-089, Early Infinity Q45s. The WPN 700, Nissan Frontiers and Xterras with the 2.4 litre engine. The WPN 800, Mercury Villager and Nissan Quest with the 3.3 litre engine. WPG 027, Chevrolet, GMC and Isuzu medium duty vehicles with the 5.2 litre diesel engine. WPG 028, Chevrolet, GMC and Isuzu medium duty vehicles with the 4.8 litre diesel engine. These pumps should all be installed using a thin bead of ice in AB1207B1 or an equivalent form in-place gasket silicone sealant. If you're using an equivalent product, make sure it's a coolant compatible silicone. Here are some examples of water pumps that have been improperly installed using sealants or shellacs when they shouldn't have been used. All of these water pumps have failed due to leakage. You should never use hardening shellacs or adhesives of any type. For a demonstration on how to apply the sealant, refer to the Eisen video called Eisen Water Pump FIPG found on the Eisen Aftermarket website at www.eisenaftermarket.com in the video section under a tab called Installation. 